Hi, I'm TK Divine. Good to see you. And this is Divine Diaries, travelographer edition. Random and unplanned episodes where my intentional lifestyle brings me to odd corners of the globe and brings you along for the ride. Join me for life hack tips and to learn what things to do and not to do as we explore the world's lesser known attractions. I am TK Divine, and this is Divine Diaries Travelographer Edition. But I can take it with me. This weekend, you can get a full education on the tiny house movement, which is sweeping the nation. And right now, Laura McDonald, live and local, with a look at the People's Tiny House Festival. If you've been watching the Divine Diaries Instagram, you know I've been taking my port home from LA to Colorado for this festival, where yours truly got an appearance on the news. We're hanging out right here uh, across from Falcon Stadium at the Air Force Academy, the People's Tiny House Festival. And right now we are in a very special home. My friend TK, this is a backyard home. Before we get into the house, I want you to tell everybody your story because you have a wild story. Love it. You are living the American <laughs> dream, literally. Okay, so let's talk about uh, this tiny house concept that you have. This is this is called your backyard house, right? Made out of porta potty material. Once the festival came to a close, it was time to explore. But I don't want to bring my port home with me. Driving that thing around is stressful to say the least. So I dropped it off, which proved to be a smart move because as soon as I left, I encountered this: a hailstorm. Apparently I was minutes late for softball-sized hail that wreaked absolute havoc on cars along my exact route. Not exactly the way you want to start your Colorado-Utah road trip. This windshield, this side window is gone. That back window is gone. Oh my god, I got one. This road trip was exactly what I needed. After months upon months of tireless efforts on the port home I'd felt like I'd gone mad. Which, being on the road now, reminded me of a Jack Kerouac quote. The only people for me are the mad ones. The ones who are mad to live, mad to talk, mad to be saved, desirous of everything at the same time. The ones who never yawn or say a commonplace thing, but burn, 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 like fabulous yellow Roman candles exploding like spiders across the stars. Finally, I made it to my 28th of 59 national parks, Great Sand Dunes National Park, just in time to catch the sunset peering out over the horizon and other subtle signs that I was welcome here. With little daylight left, I postponed dinner and headed to the foothills to catch some killer twilight views with minimal tourists crowding the scene. I'm getting sad about leaving the People's Tiny House Festival, but uh, this is also pretty cool. I have to hike that tomorrow, like, up to that. Tune in for the next episode to see these dunes from the other side on Divine Diaries, Travelographer Edition. <laughs>